so far in our discussion of markets, the highest total surplus or the socially optimal outcome occurs at an unrestricted equilibrium point. However, we've made several assumptions in order to guarantee that that's true. We'll now begin to outline those assumptions and talk about situations in which markets fail to reach the socially optimal outcome. This market failure, as we call it, can result from several different problems. The first that I wanna discuss is externalities. One classic example of an externality is pollution. So let's begin by thinking critically about the socially optimal level of pollution. If I ask you to picture pollution, all sorts of negative things will come to your mind. The harms from pollution are real and significant. We harm the environment, animals and ecosystems, and even human health. But pollution exists for a reason. Pollution exists as a byproduct of production. So although pollution has costs, there is also a benefit to pollution. The benefit of pollution is that it means that we are producing things and therefore we're able to consume them. A lot of times we think about pollution as so bad that we aim to reduce pollution to zero. Reducing pollution to zero is not necessarily socially optimal. In the broadest sense of the term, pollution might refer to any impact that humans have on our environment. Simply by existing, I create waste and breathe out a greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide, and so I'm not interested in a world in which humans don't exist or we in some sense reduce pollution to zero. We have to though think more critically about the socially optimal level of pollution by of course comparing the costs and the benefits. The problem with pollution is that many of the costs associated with pollution are not captured by the market. Notice these harms, they're outside of our typical market interaction between the consumer and the producer. In other words, the people who are harmed by pollution are not the people who are making a decision about how much to pollute. So when we have this cost external to our market decisions, the market fails to take into account that cost and therefore we end up with too much pollution. So the takeaway here is that we have too much pollution and we probably should aim to reduce it. But reducing that level of pollution to zero is not helpful or practical. Instead, we should compare the marginal social benefit of pollution to the marginal social cost. And in that way, take into account the full cost of our actions and achieve an outcome that is best for society. 